Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. If you are new to my channel, hey what's up, hello. Every video I start with an affirmation, so let's get into today's affirmation. Go ahead and close your eyes, take a deep breath in, release. My period is nothing to be ashamed of. My period is nothing to be ashamed of. My period is nothing to be ashamed of. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Release. Hey, beloved. So today I want to do a period hack. Is it a hack video? I don't know. It's just kind of like a period info video. I have done one before. So you can go ahead and check that one out. I talk about how our periods are synced with the moon and um, whether you're like a new moon bleeder or a, um, what's it called? New moon, full moon bleeder. But today I kind of want to talk about like the things that I, the products that I use and just talking about periods. So I got my first period when I was about 12 or 13. I remember coming home from school and there was like this reddish brownish stuff in my period. I can't remember if I had any cramping or anything like that, but uh, I do remember uh, calling my mom and being like, mom, I think I got my period. And then she was like, oh, and then like in Ghanaian culture, I think I talked about it in my other video, you do this thing where you boil an egg which represents fertility and you take like, um, you take plantains and you pound them and you're supposed to eat it together but I was like, no, I don't wanna do that. Oh yeah, I did talk about this in my other video so I'm not gonna talk about that. But that is something kinda cool and culturally awesome that, awesome that I will be doing with my daughter when she gets her period. So, I have always been kinda like, I don't know if I was always annoyed with my period, but my period was an embarrassing thing. Like I used to, and still sometimes, like will have accidents. It's like, I'm gonna need this pad to stop shifting and bleeding into my jeans. Like, please, okay? Like there are too many times I can name where I'm just like, what? Like, why am I so prone to these accidents? Like one of my worst fears is being on the red carpet and having a period stain. And I pray that, It'll never happen because I'm probably going to use like, um, you know, what the brand thinks I'm probably going to be using that on the red carpet because that those period panties that is revolutionary. OK, so um, but so I always just kind of felt like uneasy when I would have my period because I didn't want to have any accidents or anything like that. Um, and then once I I used to have terrible cramps when I used to eat meat and have lots of dairy. I remember one time I my my boss took me out to lunch and I ended up getting the worst cramps and it's were it's terrible when you have cramps and you got to poop you know the period poops lord you got cramps you got period poops and um it was hot it was the summertime so I'm on the subway I'm about to faint it's oh man that was just not a good day at all and then I can remember another time where my cousins from the from London were here and I was having I couldn't walk I couldn't talk I couldn't breathe cramps and they didn't know how to drive so I had to drive to the store to go and get um, to go and get I think Advil or something like that but gone are those days. Fast forward into my late 20s and now I completely 100,000% embrace my period thanks to people like Latham Thomas who has the book uh, Own Your Glow and talks about the divinity behind having a period. And you know, just seeing all these like body, bo all this body positivity, I think um, Rupi Kaur, Kao or Kao, I can't pronounce her name properly, but that's my favorite poet. And she, um, I think she was the one of the first people to normalize periods. She was the one, I'm gonna Google it, put it, probably put it in here, but she took pictures of herself like having her period and it went viral and it really just like put her name on the map, in my opinion. And just it really like normalized, like, yo, this is we have our periods like this is a right of womanhood and humanity and like I was saying um, there's a lot of stem cells in our period blood that doctors and scientists are using to cure different diseases so 
period blood is popping. And and I remember I was talking to a, a group of schoolgirls about periods and sex and all that stuff. And you could tell like periods and like we can't talk about periods, but we have girls that are like 13, 14 being super, super like ready to have sex, but don't understand the the value or or the strength that comes from having a period so something that i do when i do have my period is i like to use affirmations i like to say thank you god for this healthy period thank you for this thank you body for you know uterus just shedding thank you thank you god for this like period that's what i do i honor my period i don't shame it i don't like i don't do that anymore because I don't want to lessen any part, any gift that God has given me just because society says like, oh, ew, you know, like da da da, da. like, no. Um, I don't want to do that. Now that I have a vegan diet, I don't have a lot of cramps anymore. I barely have cramps. So you know when you get those like clots, like I'm seeing less and less clots. I'm seeing, I'm, I'm having less cramps. Like this past period was my first week of being vegan and I made sure that I did not have a lot of sugars because sugar, can actually irritate the digestive system which is connected to the vagina which is like the digestive system is like basically your second brain whatever you put in your stomach that's going to affect the rest of your body so um i make sure to not eat too many sugars when i am on my period because i do realize that my period also there's a shift in my ph balance and when i have sugars and that natural shift of ph balance or the 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 lopsidedness of the ph round it's just not a good look it's just not good for your girl okay so i think a lot of youtubers a lot of younger youtubers you know a lot of them use like clickbait saying like how like <laughs> there's this one youtuber and again it's the younger girls where they're like holding their nose and then <laughs> they, they're like she's holding up holding her nose and holding her panties like, and that right there gives other women the idea that something is wrong with the vagina. Something is wrong with the natural vaginal odor. Sometimes some other YouTubers will use clickbait. How does, how to make my vagina not smell like fish? And it's like, if your vagina, your vagina has a natural, beautiful odor, you are a human being. A vagina is a organ okay it is not meant to smell like roses and berries and all things that are sweet like no it's an organ it's a muscle mucus membranes all of that why the hell would we want our vaginas to smell sweet like you know you could spray a little perfume you could do a little spritz real quick down there away from the organ maybe down near the jeans or the skirt if you're going on a date but there is no need to be using any of those like vaginal fresh washes that have so many chemicals that actually cause yeast infections because the companies that make the yeast infection is the same company that owns the the feminine wash it's all in one it's all they all just trying to trick your vagina okay and we're just trying to keep the vagina healthy so um uh so one thing i don't do anymore is i don't have too much sugars because i do believe that it causes um a ph imbalance for me in my period that's just for me maybe for you is is you can have all the sugar you want but um also when you're having your period i do recommend eating a lot of vegetables having bananas eating a lot of grains making sure that you're just allowing your body to cleanse and just be healthy i had to tell my brother like about the clots that come out when you have your period and he didn't know that and i'm like yeah they're like legit baby blood clots and he didn't know that and it's important to and it shouldn't be disgusting because we are just a bunch of melanin and bones and mucus and membranes like i said before like this body is it might be pretty on the outside but on the inside there's a lot going on there's a lot of organs happening there's a lot of blood rushing through the system okay boo so it's not always going to be pretty it's not always going to be poster child pretty so i was telling him about it and he was amazed and disturbed at the same time and i'm like yeah welcome so um for me i have an inverted uterus i always forget if it's inverted or retroverted so my ut uteruses are usually just like like this mine goes backwards so um 
with having that type of uterus nothing wrong with it so with having this type of uterus there's like when I used to wear tampons like that was, was not always comfortable for me um, wearing tampons so I actually don't wear tampons anymore because even if I don't know for me sticking something up there for hours on end your vagina is like your vagina soaks up everything right so it's very absorbent and for your everyday like tampax um tampons those have chlorine they have pesticides because it's cotton there's a lot of you know cotton at the end of the day is it's a fabric it's a plant they got to make sure that you know uh, uh bugs don't eat up the crop so it has pesticides it has bleach and your vagina is soaking all of that up so for me i stopped wearing tampons a long time ago i will only wear a tampon if i'm on vacation and i have my period and it's a must i am the pad girl like i don't care like i am the pad queen i know people are like oh it feels like diapers oh this oh that i don't care put a diaper on me honey because i'm not sho shoving anything up there that is not meant to like go up there that my i don't want my vagina soaking up chlorine i don't want my vagina soaking up pesticides like i don't want that so one brand that i really do like is um I think it's called the L brand. I've talked about it before. They're called the L brand. I'll leave all the information here. They, I love them because every package of uh, pads or tampons that you purchase, they send a package of um, pads or tampons to someone in a third world country because in a lot of countries and in the very, very poverty area, poverty parts of Ghana, you know, when a girl has her period and her family cannot afford pads or tampons, she can't go to school. So, um, I love that that company does that. All of their products are made in Italy, so it's fancy. And um, they're reasonably priced, and you can find them at Target. Um, and it's all organic. It's completely safe for the vagina. And uh, I don't have any to show you guys today, but um, since I just finished my period, I was using the organic cotton pads from The Honest Company. What's up, Jessica Alba? This is Jessica Alba's brand. I like to use her veggie wash and I have used her cleaning products. Oh, her cleaning products are organic, non-GMO, clean, clean. And um, I really, really like her cleaning products. They're only $3. Like, come on, you famous and you still giving me a bargain. Thank you. So these pads, I don't remember how much they were, but um, the uh, these are or, have an organic cotton core. It's very thin, hypoallergenic, plant-based, organic cotton, pH compatible. Ooh, okay, pH compatible, ultra soft, locks in wetness. So here is the pad. It is ultra thin. She wasn't lying. Um, so I used this for the eight days I had my period. And for the first two days, what I did like about this pad is that it really does lock in the wetness. Because, you know, sometimes some pads... It'd be super soaker and you just can still feel the wetness this one did soak up the wetness i will say the only thing i didn't like was that the wings were just like not it for me they were crumbly they weren't really hanging on to my underwear like that so i didn't really like that and for me again i like a longer pad like um the l brand love the love brand l brand whatever they make a nice like mama vagina pad and i love it because it covers from the front all the way to the crack okay and i love it so this was a little too short for me but i did love that it soaked up sorry about the lighting every time i put this up but anyway um i did love the how it soaks up the wetness and i really like the packaging so cute and i think it was a good price and it comes with how many is in here? Well, they have different styles. They have the no, no. Even the super was a little too short for me. But um, I definitely recommend that for you guys and the love brand. And I want to get my hand on some Thinks panties so bad. Like, if you work at Thinks and you are watching this, please send some over. I will make the most bomb sponsored post for you guys because I've been one. I've been like obsessing over the Thinks brand for like. Um, 
like a few years and I really want to try it so holla at your girl um something that I do while on my period is I take these this renew life women's care ultimate floor probiotic 25 billion on Amazon and Target it is $16 there's another website called Puritans Pride and it's like $20 no, I don't know how you're going to try to scam people like that Puritan's Pride. I love y'all, but that is like a serious price hike. So, again, the stomach is the second brain of the body. Whatever you put in the stomach will affect the rest of the body. So, this is intentionally created for your vagina to make sure that your vagina is top notch, okay? Because um what you eat affects the vagina you have too much sugar that's why sometimes you have yeast infections this allows me to just have a better smelling period because period blood is period blood right like it's not again not supposed to smell like bloss like roses and blossoms and stuff like that but i did sense a, a change in scent in my period and you know the doctors didn't say anything was up so I did some research and I started taking the probiotics and that absolutely helped with any ir irregular scent that I was experiencing with my period. So I do hope this video encourages you to see your period in a more positive way. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to talk more about periods and vagina and pussy and punani, go ahead and leave me a comment. Uh, leave me a comment below and I do hope that you are more empowered about your vaginal strength make sure to do your uh, kegels you know kegels like it's basically doing crunches for your vagina uh, so I thank you guys for tuning in pussy power all day and I'll see you guys next video